It's a 86, right? Uh, 86. 87. Ninety three? It's a pretty old battery. It's like the back door is actually locked. Not the best of shape, definitely used, but um, possibly my new car. Better actually lock that back. Eighty-seven Ford Escort. Every door is locked. I keep forgetting that. She got stuck. That ain't good. Pick it up if you want to. You think the brakes will stick again? Oh, well, YouTube, here's the new car. It's an 87 Ford Escort uh, GL model, I believe. A um, hundred and Getting close to 70,000 miles. So that would be up there. It was a, yeah, GL. Ford Escort GL. It was a working man's car, so it, uh, it isn't in quite as good shape as my Nova. Sorry I'm struggling with the stick. And the camera won't focus. There we go. Um, a lot of mechanically sound meaning it's drivable but the interior is in a lot worse shape for example that and um, I'll actually deal with all that in a minute I'm trying to clean it out this car had a lot of stuff in it tons of sawdust lots of hay tons of dirt has water has been getting in in places um, but came at a really good price so I wasn't going to complain and like I said other than a couple minor problems it's works <sighs> look at that camera getting out of focus um dash is cracked horribly bad but that's fine uh, this the driver's seat is broken and I'll show you that in a minute um, it's mainly dirty the driver's seat is also just destroyed now this one has a crack in it. Um, none of the dash lights work. And the AC needs a recharge. And the radio, which I can handle this problem, no problem, but the um, tuner and the radio, let me show you. I'll grab the keys. Look at these funny shaped keys too. <laughs> but, um, gotta turn it back. There we go, get the radio working. Well, it ain't gonna play fair, is it? Just because I wanted to show you. Well, as I said, tons of electrical problems. Um, that's gonna be the biggest thing on this car, electrical work. Um, the seals need to be replaced here. As you can see, the paint could be a bit better. Uh, new tires on it, that's good. The, it needs a relatively need the new battery because the battery's from 91, although it still works. A couple of rust places like this that I need to take care of. Um, working on the back brake right now. That's the only mechanical problem that's keeping it from being roadworthy right now. Every brake works, but that one has been leaking fluid 
and uh, sticks. Here's the driver's or the passenger side rather. Uh, it's automatic, 1.9 liter. Um, electric seat belts. That's the best part about this car. I'll get to the brake in a minute. There are a few quirks, like you can't fill the tank over three quarters because it will leak. Uh, and the temperature and gas gauge sometimes randomly shoot up to full for a couple dozen miles while you're driving. It's really dirty. I'm trying to clean it out. It used to be had hay in it. Um, something that is nice is that back seat flips down and then you got something like a uh, something to haul lawnmowers in and whatnot and that also fixes the driver's seat as you can see it's it's broken it doesn't lock anymore so I'll have to get that replaced regardless but if you uh, get in you pull these two black tabs but first you gotta pull this one lift it up and then you pull this down you got a nice little area to haul things. That's pretty nice. Um, let's pop the hood, shall we? Now this motor is slightly larger than the Nova's, not by much. I don't know if I'll be able to do this on camera like I could the Nova. I don't know whether there's the stick. Okay, hold it. Sorry about the bad cameraman work. I don't have my, I'm out of town right now, thus getting the car. And uh, I don't have the tripod. Anyway, here's the engine. Only thing mechanically wrong is that one brake uh, and the AC. Could use a new set of belts, I could tell, tell that. At least it's a Ford though, we're going right with that. Fuel injected, unfortunately. But I'm not gonna complain, once again. It's a nice looking car. I like the styling of it. It just needs a lot of work. This battery's from 91, like I said, so it's really old. Um, this, these cars eat up timing belts, from what I've been told. But it's a no-collide engine. So this timing belt on this car since this, uh, the owner that I'm getting it from, he's had it break three times and he got it from 50,000 miles to the current close to 170. I believe that's what he said, Todd. I could go in and check, but I can't be bothered. Um, now the problem having back here, this is gonna be a long video, but the uh, brake, that wheel, it's been on here so long, I, it rusted to it and I had to get a crowbar out just to get the wheel off of the uh, drum. But uh, it's sticking in here. It's full of brake fluid and mess because it's been leaking. The uh, brake or no wheel cylinder, and I have a new wheel cylinder inside. But I, I can't get this off. <laughs> it is really on there. I've been trying cleaner and uh, lubricant, and uh, most importantly, a hammer. But none of that seems to be working. Um, she does have some rust problems, though. As you can see, that's the inside of the car. You're looking at the. That's the speaker you're looking at. The speaker that is right there. It also has another pretty bad spot up under the passenger seat and I'm not sure about all this water damage here but I have a feeling I'm gonna find something evil right in the passenger seat. But uh, maybe I'll do a startup for you another time because right now I sh um, it needs more gas. But that's it for you. I'm just cleaning it up. It's going to take a lot of cleaning. But anyway, this will be what's replacing the Nova. The Nova, I didn't want to sell the Nova, but I've been left with no choice. That I can't, can't afford the transmission. It's also got rust problems here. I need to clean that, put some primer on it so it doesn't rust any more than it already has. Yeah. But, um,. Yeah, so I think that's about it. I might do another update once it's clean. This has been seven minutes of me rambling around, dropping the camera and having bad angles. But, um, hopefully it'll be a good little car. Mr. Three Wheeled Bike here with a little bit of an automotive question. 
Uh, this is my new Ford Escort, uh, 90, or no, excuse me, 87. And the only major problem I found with the car that I am not really sure what to do about is this rust right here. This is the passenger rear, um, gosh, what's it called? Passenger rear shock absorber. As you can see, there's considerable rust right here. Now, right around it is okay. But right here, I can reach up, and that's where the speaker for the radio is, right up there. So, I don't know if that's fatal or not. Let me know what you think, and I'll attach a picture at the end, but thank you.